Hey everybody, it's Eric here. I'm basically Disney's garbage man. I've been in this job for years. The benefits suck. Uh, the good news today is I only have one episode of Disney Star Wars to talk about. The bad news is it's the worst episode of Disney Star Wars like ever. Let's take out the trash. All right, you can't spoil garbage. It's already rotten, people, so let's get into this. Uh, this episode is called Destiny. Okay. Uh, the whole episode is basically a 15-year flashback, all right? And we're blessed to spend time with young Osha and young May as they engage in full-throttle cringe. They have a little saying between the two of them, and it goes a little something like this. I can't do it justice, but I'll try my best. I am with you. Always one born is two. As above sits the stars, and below lies the sea. I give you you, and you give me me. They hold hands and they say this to each other. It's, it's so adorable. You just have to be there. Uh, despite this lovely but pathetic poetry, they bicker and fight through the rest of the episode. So I got the impression they really don't like each other despite the poem. All right. In this episode, we see that these two adorable children live in Minas Tirith in Gondor. It's a big mountain with a castle in it. It's, it's fantastic. Uh, it's not a great castle because we're going to see later in the episode that it's uh, it, it, candles. Candles are very bad for this castle, but we'll get to that. Uh, and in the castle uh, is a witch's coven. It's all women, and uh, these women are not liked throughout the galaxy because they have the ability to use the force. They don't call it the force, they call it the thread. But these women are not liked. In fact, they say the galaxy does not like women like us, I think one of the mothers said. Not subtle. Not subtle, Leslie Hedlund. Um, and there, there are no men in this coven, and there is no ice cream in this coven, we learn. But there is spice cream. And we're told it's very delicious, and Osha loves it. So, uh, there you go. After that, we meet Mommy and Mommy, uh, the two lesbian mothers. We have Mother Anisia. We're going to call her the soft mother. She's soft on the children. And then Mother Coral, who is like the strict mother. And she's got horns, so of course she's going to be like stricter and meaner, right? Because she looks meaner. So, soft Mommy and mean Mommy. We'll go with that. And we learn that the Force is female. It's confirmed in this, and the Force is gay. Uh, because what happened here is uh, Soft Mom did some witchy shit and uh, put, uh, put the two twins, the children, in uh, Strict Mom's belly, and they were born of the witchcraft. So they did not have a daddy. No men needed. So after all that, we know that Anakin Skywalker is not special. The way he came into existence happens all the time. Uh, witches that have mastered the thread can do the same, same exact thing. I don't need that anymore. All right, so what's going on here is this is the time, the day has come, when the two girls are going to participate in the Ascension, which means they officially become witches. And, uh, you know, the ritual, oh boy, it's, it's something to see. Um, basically, you get a bunch of human resource representatives, and they keep chanting, power of one, power of two, power of many, and they keep saying this. And as they say this, they do like some Madonna voguing, and they just won't stop saying this. It's, it's the worst chanting. I dare you to find... Worse chanting than the chanting in episode three of Acolyte. I dare you to find it. You can't find it. You find it, you let me know in the comments. You're not going to find it. Um, the ceremony is completed eventually, thank God. And what happens is May gets a mark because they just like touched her and she gets a mark. Uh, but the ceremony is interrupted and uh, Osha never gets her mark. She doesn't become a witch because... These four Jedi appear. For some random reason, they show up. And it's the four Jedi that May is trying to kill in Episodes 1 and 2. All right, so we also learn... We're, we're going to learn a lot of things about Star Wars here. We're finally, you know, getting an education in Star Wars. We learn 
that it's illegal for other people to train children in the Force. That's what we're told. And the Jedi sort of have a monopoly on that type of thing. In fact, the witches kind of make comments that, hey, it's all about power, and they're trying to control the power. So, you know, the Jedi are kind of dissed on for that. Um, okay, so the Jedi say, hey, you know, we'd like to test these children, and the witches agree. I don't know why they agree to that, but they do. Uh, but the witch moms say to the kids, hey, when they ask you questions, when they show you that little thing that they showed Anakin Skywalker, where, uh, guess what it is? A ship, a pot, a cup, you know. When they do that, lie. You know, lie to the Jedi so they, they won't think you're, you got the, the force, the thread. Uh, but when Osha is tested, she doesn't lie. She changes her mind. She wants to be a Jedi. She tells the truth. And, you know, uh, they take some blood samples. They do the whole blood sample thing. And Osha it passes the test. And uh, she was honest and she wants to be a Jedi. So they're like, all right, you know, we'll take you to be a Jedi. And uh, May, I hope I'm getting my sisters right as I'm telling you what's happening here. May gets mad because Osha told the truth. So what's May going to do? She gets a candle and she locks Osha in her room and she sets fire to the stone and steel door. And this fire erupts from this candle. It's, it's crazy. And, it, and thank goodness Osha escapes through a hatch. There's a hatch. Uh, but this crazy fire consumes this steel and stone castle and kills all the witches, both mommies. Unless one of those mommies happens to be Smilo Ren. I don't know. I'm just saying. Kills all the witches in the entire castle, this fire. It's, it's quite impressive, this fire. Um, and that's, that's how it ends. Uh, the Jedi take Osha to Coruscant. I, I had croissant. No, it's Coruscant. And May is left behind all by her lonesome with her little witchy mark. So, I mean, in the end, the Jedi did absolutely nothing to hurt these witches. It was all May. May killed her own witches. I don't know why Master Shaggy last episode was like, you know, canceled himself. I, I, that doesn't make any sense to me. And I don't know why 16 years later, uh, May is going on like a, a Kill Bill, you know, chasing down all these Jedi that did nothing to her. All right. So why is this the worst episode ever of Disney Star Wars? Uh, because it's bad, right? And it's uh, not fun. And it's unfunny, it's boring, and it's trying to push the message. That's just a bad combination right there. You can't be, I mean, at least Obi-Wan Kenobi, like that was bad. Uh, it wasn't boring. And it was funny. There was no message. Yeah, at least Obi-Wan Kenobi was entertaining, right? So when uh, Flea is chasing baby, I was going to say Yoda, baby Leia through the forest, like that's ridiculous. But it was funny. It's bad Star Wars, but it was entertaining. And, you know, when Obi-Wan Kenobi used his cloak to cover, uh, I don't know, his, his girlfriend and uh, baby uh, Leia as they're sneaking out of that Imperial base. So it's like a cloak with like six, six legs sticking out, walking. That's, that's some Scooby-Doo shit there. It was entertaining. Bad Star Wars, but entertaining. But Acolyte Episode 3, I mean, if this is what we're getting here in this series, this is just... This is terrible, and it's not entertaining. It's, it, it's hard to get through. I mean, it blows my mind that at the end of the day, they took a boy's property, a proven boy's property that has sold toys for decades, for a majority of my life, <laughs> and they just, like, turned it into this. The, no kids, n not one kid this Christmas is going to ask, for an acolyte action figure. It's not going to happen. If you find one, you're, you're lying. You're, you're making it up, all right? No kid's going to ask for that. But here we are. What a shame. All right. All right, if you guys have watched The Acolyte, let me know what you think. Um, let's talk about this. Man, I don't know. And uh, leave a comment. We'll talk about it. And next week, I'll be back to take out the garbage again. All right, everybody. Everybody have a great day, a great week. I appreciate the support. I'll see you soon. And as always, I'll see you on the new.